And Tony, okay. I'm going to go with the Chargers. I'm going to go. You know, when you first say L.A. team, I'm still thinking, oh, L.A., what is this, 1960? San Diego. Right, of course. Yeah, San Diego. San Diego, Diego. Char- yeah. San Diego yeah. Super Chargers. Yeah. San, San yeah. Diego. The, the, the Chargers, Tone, they beat the Chiefs. Now, I know the Chiefs aren't what everybody, every expert, every analyst, every former player has the Chiefs. And on this network last week, there was a question. Are the Chiefs in the middle of a dynasty? Really? A dynasty of one? Because that last I checked, there's no one champion team, one championship team that's a dynasty. But let me move beyond that. The Chargers, Tony, they got a quarterback out there. I'm not saying he's the equal to Patrick Mahomes, but if you're in a division, okay, with the Kansas City Chiefs, and you can go right at them, and you've got young talent of your own, not only is the win significant, all right, sort of the suggestion of what might come, because you might be able to be in the ring against a dynastic Chiefs team, dynasty of one. I thought that was the most important L.A. victory yesterday. So we are going to agree that Justin Herbert is going to be great someday and maybe great now. And we're going to agree that the Chargers actually should be 3-0. They should they be. They should have won yes. last week. They got jobbed last week. Kansas City, though, is 1-2 and two this year. Yeah. And Kansas City, and Dynastic. I want to get the numbers right, Make sure you first Kansas City's Dynasty. allowed 95 points. Nobody has allowed more than that. And 10 of their last 11 regular season games have been won or lost by six points or fewer, which is why a lot of people bet against them against the line all the time because they don't think Kansas City is that good. I don't want to diminish that because it is a division game. But, yes, you're right, I'm going to pick the Rams. And I'm going to pick the Rams because Tampa Bay had been 2-0 and and Tampa Bay in just two games had scored 79 points. And Tom Brady looked ageless as he has looked for a long time now. But the Rams got the lead early. They never gave up the lead. They were tied, but they never fell behind. And then they pushed him. They found 70-year-old Deshaun Jackson, and he got behind <laughs> everybody once. How fast which was is he amazing. at 34 still? And as, as great as Brady was throwing for 432, Matthew Stafford threw for four touchdowns and I think now has nine on the year. MVP, I think it's Matthew a more Stafford. impressive win. And you know where I am on this. I'm still on that ledge, Wilbon. The day they got Matthew Stafford, said I said they, they would be in the yes, Super Bowl. Yes, you did. Right? So I got my plumage out because next week, maybe they lose to Arizona. And the week after that, maybe they lose to See, Seattle. But right now, I'm going to crow if I can. You can. You can. You should because you called it early. I'm just going to say they got six games against division rivals in the division. I know. You can go 0-6 and, right. and still be that they're not going to. But I'm just saying. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.